Okay, today we're going to show you some basic programming on the SDS. Uh, we're just going to power one up here. So this is the uh, boot up screen when you power up the system. It shows you the uh, version number here, so that's a software version. Then you can press gauge mode. This brings you to gauge one. This shows you manifold pressure, RPM, engine temperature, and air temperature. And you can see uh, see these change when I vary it here on the test bench. You can see the air temperature change, the engine temperature change. And we can bring up uh, the RPM a little bit here. You can hear this uh, rev up. And we can also change, uh, see with the manifold pressure changing here. If we go with the right arrow button, brings us to gauge 2, shows us mixture knob position here, changing that right now, accelerator pump here, shows you if that's active or not, just when you open the throttle, should normally remain at zero if the throttle is not moving, and I'm just going to bring the RPM down here, it's exceeding the RPM limit here, now we're showing the the duty cycle here. So this is injector duty cycle and here is uh, ignition timing. Right arrow again, this gauge 3 mode shows us battery voltage, O2 sensor, in this case it's reading air fuel ratio. You can see that change, that's uh, taking a reading right off your wideband sensor. And over here is throttle position. The more you open the throttle, the higher that value gets there. And this is gauge 4. Uh, a lot of the tuning is done in gauge 4. So we see the manifold pressure here, RPM, ignition timing, and the uh, wideband uh, air fuel ratio here. To get back to gauge, we just press the gauge button once, that takes us back to gauge 1. And then uh, most of the programming is done on RPM fuel. So we use the uh, left arrow button here. This gets us into the RPM fuel values. Here's the RPM range here, so this is 4500. And this is the uh, fuel value. So you can change the fuel value by using the plus or minus buttons here. See I'm just increasing it. The higher the value here, the more fuel would go in at 4500. And we go down in the range here by hitting the left arrow button. You can see the RPM range changing here. And we can hold the button down to fast scroll scroll down. So at 2200 RPM, the RPM fuel value is 107. If we wanted to go richer, we could go up by 10 here. You see that change from 107 to 117. So you've just added fuel at that range. You do that all through the RPM fuel values here. And you can use the double arrow button here. This fast scrolls 20 frames each push. This brings us into the manifold pressure ranges. This is the other thing that you're doing most of the programming on with SDS. So this controls the amount of fuel that goes in with load. So here's manifold pressure here. Again, if we want to add fuel at 5.9 inches manifold pressure, we can increase this by one at a time or 10 at a time. And again, you're going through all the manifold pressure ranges here. This is a fairly low, it's around the idle range here on an aircraft. And we can go right up here, fast scroll again, change it to whatever you want. You're adding fuel with a bigger number and you're taking away fuel with a smaller number. That's the, the basic parts there. We'll get into uh, part two a little bit later and show you some of the other features. Thanks for now.